Hello and welcome to another beautiful, wonderful Bob Ross Fridays where we connect with our beloved soul brother, Bob Ross, and ask him for some creative guidance to lead us into our weekend and into this next week. And I am very excited to do this reading today. I am really looking forward to what's to come. Uh, last week we were asked to truly take that leap and to shift into a more playful and light way of being, a more passionate way of being. So let's connect with Mr. Bob Ross, our friend here, and see what else he would like to guide us through this weekend and next week. <sighs> Thank you, Bob, for your steadfast guidance and your friendship. We love you, brother, we do. And I hope that you are working on some creative projects that are really mm, giving you some thing to chew on, some room for thoughts and growth and contemplation, you know. It's nice to do the real fun, light stuff too, but it's also nice to have a bit of reflection time and contemplation. Let's see what we're moving into here in this upcoming weekend and next week, Bob. What do we need to know? What do these awakened creators need to know? for this weekend and this upcoming week. Thank you so much for your guidance and friendship. We love you. Mm. Must be very specific. Oh, a card flipped. Okay. Mm. Of course, yes. Okay, I'll stop right there just for a moment. We've got the five of diamonds, the five of pentacles, and I don't know if the creator of this deck uh, knew tarot or if they just um, slapped on a bunch of Bob Ross pictures and quotes to cards, but whichever way that it is, these messages are so fitting in the context of these tarot archetypes, I tell you, it's beautiful. So this one says, look around at what we have. Beauty is everywhere. You only have to look to see it. Look around. Look at what you have. What we have. We have. Beauty is everywhere. You only have to look to see it. Those of you who are familiar with the tarot know that the Five of Pentacles is this card of um, these despondent individuals outside of a church in the cold and they're busted up and sad looking and just very um, kind of in body with their despair. Whilst inside of this building they're walking past, it's warm and bright and illuminated and here, Bob is reminding us that same message that that tarot archetype is trying to tell us, which is, look around you. Look at the beauty we have. It's everywhere, but you're only going to see it if you look for it. Right? So where might you be focusing only on what is not uh, perceived as being present in your environment. And I want to make that distinction because when we're in our shit, for lack of a better word, it's really hard for us to notice that we're not actually in any shit. Like we, we're in shit in here, in our heads, but if we were to look around, if we were to elevate our perspective and look around, we're not actually in any shit, right? There's beauty everywhere, but you have to look to see it. So there's definitely something 
interesting going on here where you may be challenged to pull yourself out of that embodiment of your pain and your fears and your um, resentments or angers and pause and look around you really objectively and decide how you're going to perceive it. Choose to see the beauty. It's literally that simple. I know it sounds like ridiculous, but say it in your head, say it out loud. I do this all the time. I choose to see this situation differently. I choose to see possibilities here. Help me see possibilities here. It's okay to ask for help. When you know that you are deep in the muck and you're like, I can't see for nothing. I don't know what's going on. Um, there's an opportunity there to elevate. We just had, oh, holy moly, a bunch of cards come out. I thought it was just two, but um, it looks like it was three. So um, this is interesting. Two of Pentacles. Let's get crazy. What the heck? Take a two inch brush. This is your bravery test. I wonder if some of you are at the pinnacle of some kind of choice or decision that you need to make. And if that's the case, Bob, as your friend and brother, is asking you to be brave. He's asking you, not only do you, should you look around and see the beauty, but go ahead and take the chance to believe. Take the chance to choose. This is a two of pentacles where we're deciding and kind of trying to balance maybe two things in our lives that are not in congruence with one another. This is your bravery test. You've got to choose. You've got to make a choice. I feel like that two inch brush um, is a message as well. What is that about, Bob? It's about maybe having less than you think you need to get started. This is interesting because he's saying that, you know, we think we need all this stuff, right? Let's use painting for example. I decide, okay, I really want to follow my passion and become a painter, but like, I don't have anything. Like, all I have is this old sketchbook from high school and these Crayola paints that my nephew left in my house. That's all I have. But I want to be a painter. Like, I want to be a real painter, right? We tell ourselves these things. So what can I do? I can't do anything, right? Wrong. Bob's saying, get crazy. What the heck? Grab those watercolor Crayola whatevers. Grab that old sketchbook and just get started. Just get started. This is your chance to show the world, the universe, how brave you can be. You're willing to take that step outside of your comfort zone. And, um, you know, the other two cards here that we have are talking about that too. We have the Ten of Spades and we have the Six of Diamonds. So there's an opportunity here to really let go of an old, outdated mindset with this Ten of Spades especially something that we've been clinging on to that's no longer serving us. And he's saying use absolutely no pressure, just like an angel's wing. This card for me is about this um, non-attachment energy, this surrender kind of energy. And it's saying angel's wings, you may need to ask for help from the angels. If you believe in angels or if you want to believe in angels, then you can reach out to them and they will respond to your cries for help. Again, 
speaking from experience here, do it all the time. <laughs> Especially when I'm stuck in this Five of Pentacles BS and I can't see my feet through the invisible bullshit. So our minds need to be really light, he's saying this weekend, just like no pressure, just really light, really accepting, really open to seeing how it goes and having the opportunity here to make a brave choice is very interesting. And, you know, what I think it's bringing is the Six of Pentacles. I think that it's bringing in this sense of balance, this greater sense of balance to your life, um, more friends, uh, more stability, and an opportunity to really um, be where you're supposed to be. So, I don't know if this message is resonating with anyone out there, um, but... That's what I'm getting. Bob, do you have anything else you'd like to say? You know, one thing I think Bob really does want to say is the power of nature. I think, you know, we've talked about this before and it's obvious when you look at his body of work, the man loved nature. Um, but he's really trying to emphasize He's talking about we have beauty is everywhere, go out and talk to a tree. He's talking about utilizing the balancing power of nature to help us get centered again. So when we're in, and look at this, I'm just, oh my God, it's all, it's all right there. Look at this. We have the five of pentacles. We have this energy, this, this despair, right, that we're stuck in. We have to make a choice with this two of pentacles. So we drop one of those pentacles and we choose the one, the brave one, that we know is going to make us the happiest. And we take that one, we add it to the five, and we become the six. Balanced. Surrounded by support. Free to be ourselves. He literally just told us the story right there. That's what you're being called to do. Drop the pentacle that is not in alignment with this balanced, authentic way of being, this heart-centered way of being. And take up the one that is in alignment. And how do you, you know, let go of those thoughts, let that mental cycle that's kept you in anguish so long, let it go. Let it go. Let it drift away from you. Take a big deep breath and just feel it release. And call on the angels if you need help. You don't need to force this. You just need to choose. That's it. Choose what, how you're going to respond. Choose what your attitude's going to be. Choose what your beliefs are going to be and move forward with that embodied. Not just up here as a concept. Become it. And everything will balance out. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed those messages and, um, I love spending time with you, Bob. And I hope you love spending time with us too because we love you and we want you to keep smiling, keep creating, keep your heart open and keep your chin up. I love you. Bye-bye.